Kalmoja region is known for its semi-arid lands and long dry spells. Many of the region's people are pastoralists, with only a few actively involved in agriculture. The World Food Program is now encouraging communities in the more arable districts of Napak, Nakapiripirit and parts of Moroto to adopt the homegrown food strategy where the people grow enough food to feed their household and remain with enough to sell to the World Food Program. Become economically independent and economic players on the local market. They can start making more decisions in their household uh, and take better, better care of their family. Ryan Anderson, the WFP Deputy Country Director, says the move to encourage communities to grow their own food is intended to boost their incomes as well as provide a balanced diet to school going children who consume food sold to WFP. Have a localized uh, supply chain. When you're getting food from nearby the school, it's easy to integrate fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and also get more uh, nutritious value out of the program. The State Minister for Kalmoja Affairs, Moses Chizige, says government is in the advanced stages of setting up an artificial lake, which will help contribute water for irrigation to farmers in the Kalmoja region. So we are going to trap that water at Lope, and we will have a man-made lake there, a huge lake of over 50,000 liters. 50,000 50, million liters of water, and we shall be able to do irrigation. The ministers of state for agriculture, Christopher Chibazanga, and the state minister for primary education, Rosemary Seninde, have welcomed the move to encourage the communities in Karamoja to become more involved in agriculture, saying to improve the living standards of the people in the region. Especially a world food program for the effort they have put in to make sure that our children stay in schools learn and read by providing food. Men, the people here, have been trained on how to benefit from agriculture, but in addition, how they can be able to feed the children at school, because I think that is the biggest problem. The people seem to have embraced the initiative because an increasing number of homes are growing more food than they can consume, and the two of some of the homesteads reveals that the surplus is being stored for sale. WFP has committed to buying up to 800 metric tons of locally grown food, which assures the local farmers of a ready market for their produce. Um, the idea is they build the capacity to be able to meet this higher level of standards, demand a better price to meet the market of WFP, to meet the market of schools themselves who are buying additional food. The locally procured food is distributed by WFP to the school feeding programs in the region and this has made a big difference in school attendance. The administrators in some of the schools in Napak and Nakapiripirit say food is important because it attracts learners to come to school. So if food is supplied in time, the attendance and the enrollment, you realize that it's good. Because when the children see the store empty, the following day you will not get any person in the classes. And that's the word of Karamoja. WFP provides food relief to approximately 120,000 learners in school through 30,000 institutions where schools are given cooking oil and grain, among other items. Until recently, most of these food items have been sourced entirely from other parts of the country and the world. Jumakiria, NTV.